Welcome to SLN Live, where we chat with change agents and swim deep waters in an ongoing exploration of human potential. I'm your host, Christine Chen. You know, for me and maybe you too, music has always been a surefire way to shift my own energy and maybe even the energy of the room that I'm in. I'll be really honest with you in full disclosure. I have played the music of today's Esplin Live guest in many of my yoga classes, especially ones that invited introspection, depth of study, and ritual. We're so lucky today to have Masood Ali Khan as a spiritual guide and pioneer of the Bhakti Hampan on Esplin Live today. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful to be with you today. I am very excited about this, and we're going to hear a little music in a second, but we want to chat with you about what you've been up to lately. In the last couple of years, you're getting used to playing digitally. I know that sound and the vibration that you offer is so nice in person. So how's that going for you these days? Well, once we worked out all the, the finer things of how to make the sonic vibrations pass through the cyber net, uh, through the internet, through Zoom, and make it sound good, things started working out a lot better <laughs> with, with every change there was a period of um learning and practice and just letting things go of the things that didn't work until we recognized what we needed to make uh changes to make it work and to get into alignment once we found that everything was going beautifully. We actually were able to reach a lot of people around the world that we wouldn't have had a chance to reach in live, in person. I think that's a really good point. If you are joining us here on Esalen Live, we're with Masood Ali Khan, energy guide, facilitator, Bhakti Hanpan pioneer. He will be at Esalen soon. If you are a fan or if you just want to participate, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about our content today, please float them into the chat. And I, in particular, would like to know, you know, what's your spiritual music as we talk about the alchemy of love, which is really at the heart of what he's offering these days. Let's talk about these two words. They're both very powerful, Masood. Let's let's address alchemy. What is alchemy in your world today, and why is it so critical? Uh, for those particular reasons that it is in our world and it is very critical at this time as it has always been but in the past we've known it to mean you know, the alchemizing of um, elements in a magical way to create and transform something into a completely different form this transformation now is happening in our psyche in our hearts in our lives and in the world so how can we make that something that was usable? So alchemy in our world right now is the transformation of our psyche, our thoughts, our heart, our communication, the way we see ourselves and we see each other and how we see nature, the planet, and how to communicate to be in harmony together. Mm -hmm. So alchemy in that way is the bringing of all of the elements that we know that can calm us, heal us, transform us, transmute all the, the pain and suffering into uh, learnable lessons that we can continue to share with other people to help everyone evolve, to help ourselves evolve and to help others evolve. Mm -hmm. With that. Given that. Yes, with that, you want to talk about love, right? But let me ask <laughs> you, <laughs> this is complicated, right? It's such a beautiful set of two words. But the idea of alchemy, as you've described it, plus the idea of maybe the blend of things, the magical blend of things, how does that coordinate with your approach to the alchemy of love? Well, in our way of love, it becomes something where it's um, recognizing our emotional intimacy to cultivate that, to know how to explore the shadows that are within us and having the right skills to explore that for couples and well, not only just for couples, just for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we explore ourselves in a deeper way to find out where we're holding wounds since we were children and how we can bring the embrace of that um, with love and compassion to our little kid or whatever that time period we were in trauma and to embrace it, hold it. And now as we are adults, 
to have a more mature way to uh, hold that wound in a way that we can transform it into love. So we're loving, giving love to ourselves and then giving love to the little child, being able to then give love to others in a way that will be communicated and received in a more mature way. Mm. If you are watching us on Aslan Live, we're with Masood Ali Khan. And if what he's saying is resonating with you, going straight to your heart, it is for me, send him a little heart emoji maybe. I think that's appropriate today. Um, you are so well known for your musical <laughs> offerings. And this picture is, we were cracking up about this. This is somehow this underground LA Yoga Magazine photo that I found. Your musical offerings and the role of sound how does that work with the alchemy of love? Well, everything is vibration. Everything is audible and inaudible. The inaudible is just in frequencies that as humans, we can't hear. The frequency of love is something we can't hear, but we feel it as is the frequencies of the opposing emotions. The frequency of sound that we can hear if infused with what we're thinking what we're feeling and with a focused way merging with the sonic waves so that your emotional experience can ride the emotion ride the waves of the sound the sonic waves to reach the listener that is hearing it either live or through zoom <laughs> and even then, just because it's riding the waves of your thought and your heart and your expansion of your feeling to reach those that aren't even feeling it here, aren't even hearing it, and hoping that some aspect is received as radio waves and energy is sending, you know, being sent all the way through the, the planet. We only tune in if we have a radio or we listen out and we actually hear that frequency. Mm -hmm. But the frequencies are everywhere. So in the sonic vibrations of the music, the mantra and the meditational aspect to give us focus so that our mind is given a clear understanding of what we're trying to transmit, I hope that the other humans and nature will receive the sonic vibrations that is holding the invisible, the audible sound waves as transmission of love, support, encouragement, mm -hmm. vitalization, revitalization, rejuvenation, repair, healing, and give everyone a chance to just align and be centered to their soul, their communication with their inner selves, communication to their creative source of their existence whatever that might be to that person. I love the way that you expressed all of that. And if you at home are enjoying this conversation, I want to ask you to engage right now and let us know if you would enjoy an expression from the handpan that almost would put sound to exactly what Masood just explained. So give us a little love in the chat. Oh, Sherry says, sending radio waves of love to all of you from here in Capo Beach, California. Hi, Sherry. Yeah, give us a little heart in, if you want to hear a little expression from Masood. So I'm going to do this. That's going to be my big emoji and say, Masood, would you play something for us? I would love to. And I think as a, a little practice in knowing how to listen and receive, you'll be able to hear this hand pan. I might vocalize something, but just Listen more to what you're feeling. Listen more to any information, any words, any colors, any um, images that come to your mind, any memories that come to your mind. And just be aware of that, to let the intimacy, this emotional intimacy that we're guiding for ourselves and for couples to be the first steps into really, truly listening. Big ears, open heart. I'll move back a little bit. I'll change the angle of this camera and I'll bring in this hand pan which is the one that you saw in the picture it 
So basically an inside out Caribbean steel drum made of steel, uh, nitrated steel. It's really beautiful. And there's so many great players in the world. I'm so honored to be able to share this with you. So we're gonna take a deep breath in. Hold it for a second. Let out a ah. All the way down to Mother Earth. Take a deep breath, nurturing energy in. Feel your shoulders relax, your face relax. feeling right now, whatever images or thoughts, 
Just recognize them. Know that this mantra is one of the oldest mantras there are. The Gayatri mantra from the Rig Vedas. For the illumination of the mind. To call on the acceptance and the awareness of the visible world, the invisible world, our planetary world, a solar system and the universe. May it all guide us so that we can just be kind and loving and support each other. If you're like me and that's exactly what you needed to hear and feel and vibe today, just let us know in the chat. Sherry, thank you so much for saying it's magical. Selena Hanuman says yes with a big heart expression. All about the bhakti here on Eslam Live today. And I just wanted to ask you, because your workshop coming up is with Sierra Anna, can you tell us Sierra. a little bit, Sianna, how is it that you met? How did your hearts flow together? What did sound have to do with it? I first met Sianna actually um, playing music for one of her yoga classes at a festival in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Years later, we were finding ourselves both available, single, recently out of previous marriages, learning a lot from the experiences of life and being in relationships that worked and then didn't work. Both calling through our hearts longing for a communicative partner that can hear and to express in love and kindness. Mm. And through our personal work together, uh, personal work individually, we found a cross path and met again in a beautiful, magical way where we were able to communicate and express uh, an exploration in shadow work and find out how to communicate and to be listening and receiving what the other is saying without judgment, without criticizing, without blaming or shaming, but holding an understanding with um, real compassion. And that was so refreshing. It was just, well, okay, this is what being in a relationship can really be in just full heart and uh, real supportiveness. Yeah. And this is what you offer for the Alchemy of Love, a workshop coming up March 25th, right around the corner through 27th. Now, this workshop's in high demand. And if you can't get in, that's why we have Masood here on Esalen Live. So you can feel some of that vibration of the alchemy of love. And we just really hope that you'll rush to the site and sign up. And if you can't, at least you can watch this and enjoy this right now. Rhonda says, music mends our hearts. We love that. Masood, I just have to throw this in because you were at my old studio in New York. We know, we, we know the, the colored curtains and anyone who's watching this will know which one it was. And I missed you when you played there at the studio. I think I might've been teaching at the same time, but you know, it just goes to show you that the world is small. <laughs> yeah, that was a beautiful time. I loved always playing in New York. It was such a great community in the studio. Uh, this is a great photo from the photography artist, Robert Sturman. I uh, totally appreciate him. Yeah. And it was just another way to just celebrate and appreciate each other. So thank you for bringing those photos in, giving the opportunity to share the music and talk with you and all of our guests that are online right now. We hope that we can just all completely connect. We are all connected. That is for sure. Masood Ali Khan and Esel in Live today. Thank you so much. Thanks for all your comments. About a bazillion hearts came through in the comments and just keep spreading those wide and also near and far. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.